Tale of Two Hygienists presents this week's tipisode. Quick and easy tips to keep you up to date and presented by the experts in the profession. Now, get ready for your unofficial tipisode. This week brought to you by Elevate Oral Care. Hi there, this is Brooke Crouch, dental hygienist, here with today's tipisode on dry mouth and all day dry mouth spray from Elevate Oral Care. Today, I'll be talking to you as both a dental colleague, but also as a patient. I was diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome in 2016. So dry mouth is really a subject that I've become all too familiar with, and it's really a passion of mine in helping dental colleagues know what's out there and what can help our patients. We know that there are a lot of causes for dry mouth, certainly many more than just things like Sjogren's. Prescription medicine is probably one of the top of top causes for dry mouth. It's certainly at the top of the list. Some of the top drug categories that have the highest occurrence of dry mouth include categories like antihistamines, antidepressants, antihypertensives, diuretics, sedatives. And you guys know, like I do, that most of our patients are taking at least one or more medications that fall into one of those categories. So those patients are gonna likely be suffering from xerostomia. And then of course we have our high risk patients that have undergone cancer treatment, particularly head and neck cancers. Those patients are likely suffering or have suffered greatly from xerostomia throughout their treatment. And then of course you have lifestyle choices such as alcohol use and tobacco that are also common causes of xerostomia. We also know that the aging adults are another category of individuals that are high risk for dry mouth. But we can also see that it's not just our elderly patients that we need to be thinking about when we're dealing with dry mouth. Any patient suffering from from xerostomia are gonna be really high risk patients. And we have to make proper recommendations to help these patients. I can say that myself where I went from a very low risk patient prior to my Sjogren's diagnosis to being now a very high risk patient. So it's important to keep in mind that we want to look at the patient as a whole when we're assessing their risk for xerostomia uh, xerostomia and making recommendations for them. Dry mouth is actually a lot more common than we might think. When we look at prevalence, I've heard reports that say anywhere from as low as 2% all the way up to 62% of our patients may suffer from dry mouth. I even read a recent article that looked at more than 29 studies on dry mouth to come up with a consensus number. That article said that about 27% of adults are suffering from dry mouth. And I think that seems pretty reasonable. Um, You know, when we look at that though, and you think about an average practice, that 27% actually translates to over 400 patients with dry mouth in just one office, 400 patients. That's huge. And really, you know, we probably, you guys know from being in practice, that number could be even higher. It's hard to nail down that consensus number because we have to rely on our patients. The um, data is subjective when it comes to prevalence of dry mouth. Most of us see, you know, a dry mouth patient, and we probably think to go ahead and put them on a prescription fluoride toothpaste and to tell them to try an over-the-counter dry mouth product if sipping on water isn't providing adequate relief for them. And although prescription toothpaste is a great benefit for these high-risk patients, they really need additional help. They need something that works to maintain a neutral pH around the clock and starve out that bad bacteria. All day dry mouth spray helps overcome both of those problems. And it really is the perfect at home therapy to complement a 5,000 part per million toothpaste. Recommending the right dry mouth product can not only relieve a patient's pain and discomfort, but can also be very beneficial for their oral health. Because like we said, we know there's, these are very high risk patients. I can tell you that I've tried practically every known brand of dry mouth spray and products. And what I personally prefer and always recommend is all day dry mouth spray. In a nutshell, it's really because I like the taste. It does a great job of instantly moisturizing my mouth. The relief lasts for quite a long time and it's got that high level of xylitol in it and it's not acidic. So all of those things are reasons why I personally 
use that and recommend that for my patients and to my dental colleagues as well. We have to remember that not all dry mouth sufferers are the same. It's not like a patient either you know, produces saliva or they don't. There's no on and off switch. It's a matter of how much saliva our salivary glands can make. And that's gonna change when we're talking or chewing versus when we're resting or sleeping. On top of that, one patient with a quantifiably measurably low saliva flow rate might say their dry mouth is practically unbearable, while another with the same rate might say, you know, yes, my mouth is a little dry sometimes, but that's only if you ask them. And that comes back to the fact that coming down to a percentage of patients that actually suffer from dry mouth is difficult because the data is subjective. We rely on our patients to report it and they may not even notice that their salivary flow is low or that they're dealing with xerostomia. One thing is consistent though. If we lack sufficient natural saliva to maintain a neutral oral pH, we are instantly a high risk patient for caries, especially root caries. We know that normal pH of saliva is in that 6.7 to 7.4 range. With that knowledge, it just makes sense that when it comes to an oral moisturizing saliva substitute, we wanna recommend products with a pH of 6.7 or above. In fact, 6.7 was first referred to as the critical pH of Denton in an article published in the late 1980s. Another study conducted around the same time put that number at a slightly lower level in the 6.2 to 6.4 range. So after learning that, seeing the results of a 2013 laboratory study of commercial oral moisturizers, it really blew me away. The study researchers submerged dentin blocks into six different spray products. And after just two weeks, they found moderate to considerable loss of tooth structure in all the sprays with a pH of 6.3 or lower. And we certainly don't wanna be a name dropper with any of that, but one of the products they said caused considerable loss was the number one brand mouth moisturizing spray in the US at that time. So looking at the pH of our products is very important when we are looking to make recommendations to our patient. So all day dry mouth spray is really my go-to product. All day feels and flows on like natural saliva, giving instant relief. The great thing about the all day spray is it's got a special hydrogel and it's got a super high xylitol concentration that has a high mucoadhesive property that lab tests have shown will hold moisture and xylitol in the mouth for a longer time when compared to other brands. The longer that non-acidic high xylitol formula stays in the mouth, the longer a neutral oral pH is maintained and the more the xylitol can help, which we know is so important for these patients. And let's just take a minute to talk about xylitol and xylitol being in several dry mouth relief products. Yes, you will find xylitol in the ingredient list of pretty much any dry mouth spray out there, including you know, our big name brands, but you won't find it listed as the first ingredient like you will with all day. And so you know, why is that a big deal? Well, because the FDA requires that true saliva substitutes like all day, or even if we look to other brands by a team from GSK and Hydro with Sunstar, you know, list, we're looking at the, the list of ingredients in descending order of the amount in the formula. So since all day lists xylitol first, you can be sure that all day has more xylitol than the other brands. In fact, all day has the highest xylitol containing percentage of anything else on the market. I also wanted to mention an interesting article I read in RDH Magazine. They surveyed hygienists and what the hygienists reported was that the most important factor they consider when recommending dry mouth products is what their patients have told them about different brands they've tried. In my experience, both as a clinician and as a patient, there's no one single brand of dry mouth spray that satisfies every patient that they've tried. There's just no one size fits all when it comes to this. In fact, I'm guessing that most people with dry mouth, just like myself, have tried multiple brands just like I did before they find the one that works for them. So it makes sense that if patients tell you that brand X is helping them, that you're gonna be more likely as, their, as a clinician to be recommending brand X, right? One last thing I want to mention is that all day costs about the same as the leading brands. So it's easy for patients to get started with all day. It can be purchased through Elevate Oral Care to dispense in your office, 
or patients can order it online from Amazon or alldaydrymouthrelief.com. All Day Dry Mouth Spray is just one of many great prevention products created and sold by Elevate Oral Care. You can get more information about All Day by calling 877-866-9113 or by visiting elevateoralcare.com. Elevate also offers free continuing education credits focused on prevention. You can ask about that when you call or you can email them at info at elevateoralcare.com to get more details on their CE programs because they truly offer some great programs. And lastly, before we wrap up, I wanna share some really exciting news for our listeners. As you can see, I love Elevate's products. I've been a key opinion leader with them for over a year now. And I had the unique opportunity to visit their home office in July and meet the incredible staff at Elevate. After that, I knew that they were certainly a company that I wanted to be a bigger part of. And I'm excited to say that by the time this episode airs, I'll be an official member of the Elevate Oral Care team. I cannot wait to get busy educating dental colleagues across my home state of Virginia and spreading the word about the preventive line Elevate offers, including All Day Spray. Thanks for your time today. I hope that you'll check out All Day Spray and consider recommending this for your patients. They will certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for listening to another tip episode. And thank you to Elevate Oral Care for sponsoring this week's episode. You can find out more about their great products at elevateoralcare.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button in your podcast app. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And head over to our website, atalatuhygienist.com, to sign up for our newsletter. We always appreciate ratings and reviews. And thanks for listening to your unofficial dental hygiene podcast. <laughs>